let's talk area of parallelograms. Now, a parallel, if you think of first, let's start with a rectangle, right? Hopefully we know that the area of a rectangle is base times height, or some people call that length times width. It's the same basic idea. Now, if we would take this rectangle and smush it, right? We're just gonna push it down. That's gonna create a parallelogram where opposite sides are congruent, but we no longer have the four 90 degree angles. So when we have a parallelogram, we still have the same formula where area equals the base times height. But you'll notice we don't really have a height because this is smushed down. So the height of a parallelogram is going to go from one base to the other base and form a right angle. Okay, so this is going to be the height of our parallelogram. So you're going to have to pay attention. The base of the parallelogram is the side that forms the right angle with the height. So you have to really pay attention where, where pieces are within your parallelogram. So we would call this bottom one the base, and then the line that connects the two bases forms the right angle is the height. So let's look at this. Just remember, H, the height, connects the opposite sides at a right angle. And then the base is the side of the parallelogram that joins the height at the right angle. So looking at this, we can find the area of the parallelogram. So I highly recommend, if you are a visual person, that you label your parallelogram. So you'll notice, here's my right angle. And sometimes I like to over accentuate the right angle marker because the two things that it intersects that's your base and your height. So the base is the side of my parallelogram that intersects with the right angle, and the height connects the two bases at a right angle. So to find my area, I know my area is base times height. So my area is going to be 12 times 5, which is 60. Our label is inches, so this is inches squared. Remember that area is always noted in square inches. If you have trouble forget, uh, remembering this, just think about how many things am I multiplying together? The base and the height. One, two. Two things, that means my inches are squared. It's kind of an easy way to remember that. So let's find the area of this parallelogram. So now we know that this side is four, this side is nine, and this length is two. Okay, so I have three numbers, but I know the area is just base times height. So what am I going to use to find those pieces? Well, find your right angle. So here's my right angle. I'm going to over accentuate it. And the two sides that it intersects are my base and height. So here, the base will be 9. The height will be 2. So area equals 9 times 2, which is 18. My units are centimeters, and it's centimeters squared. Because again, I multiplied two things together. And that's how we find the area of a parallelogram.